Today I'm going to show you how to create this animated collage for your Instagram Reels using Canva Pro. This video editing style is very trendy on Instagram at the moment, so if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Let's go to canva.com and let's create a video document. We're going to go to the videos section and we're going to select mobile video. For this project, we're gonna use five photos, two videos, and we're gonna use some features available for Canva Pro users, as I already mentioned. If you have a free Canva account and would love to try this animated collage, I'm gonna leave a Canva Pro free trial in the description of this video. If you want to use your own photos and videos, go to the uploads section on the left hand side, and from here you can upload your files with this button. Your photos are gonna go under images and your videos are gonna appear below videos. I already uploaded the photos and the videos that I'm gonna use for this project. Now let's start editing the animated collage. I'm gonna start by creating the first two sections of the video. So I'm gonna take a photo which I'm gonna use as base to start the video. I'm gonna use this photo right here and I just need to drag it to my empty page. Now to create the second section or the second page I'm gonna bring another photo to this plus icon. In Canva creates a new page using the photo as a background image. Now, what I'm going to do is to click again on the photo that I used on the second page to bring it to the second page. I just want to increase the size of the photo and make sure that it fits exactly the image that I have in the background. Once we have done this, I'm going to select Command X or Control X and take the image to the page number one. So Command V or Control V. Now I'm going to start creating the collage on the first page. I'm gonna just take a section of this photo so we can see my body and then I'm going to hit Ctrl V or Command V again and I'm going to crop again the photo because I want to have this section of the photo again as a collage. Now I'm going to use a feature available in Canva Pro so I'm going to select the photo, go to image and select background remover. In here I want to delete this little section of my photo because it has a green leaf that I don't want to have so I'm going to use used these brushes that we have over here. So in this case, I need to erase a little section of the photo. So I'm using the erase brush and I'm gonna use it to delete this little section of the photo. You can adjust the brush size if you want to go in detail. And you can also restore sections of the photo if you wish. And at the moment, as I'm filming this tutorial, these two brushes, the background remover brushes, are not available on mobile phone. That's why I'm using my computer to create this animated collage because I have access to these brushes on my computer. I hope that in the future, these brushes are available on the mobile app. So if you are watching this tutorial in the future, why not go and check the application out to see if these brushes are available. Okay, once you have erased or restored sections of the photos that you want, click done and then I'm going to apply the effect and do a similar effect on the upper section of the photo. So I'm going to select this photo, go again to background remover and this time because the background remover is taking the subject of the photo and removing the background, we need to do something different. I'm going to restore the section that we have on top of the image. So go to restore and I'm going to increase the size of the brush so I can restore this section of the photo. And it doesn't have to look perfect. Remember that this one is a collage. So it can look handmade, you know, so let's do something like this and then I'm going to erase myself 
because I already have this section of the photo as a different element. Once you have your image ready, select done and apply. Now let's add some animations to these two elements. I'm gonna select one of these elements, go to animate and from here I'm going to select tumble and animate only on enter. I'm going to do the same process for this other photo. So go to animate, tumble, only on enter. I'm going to double check that both images are only on enter and then I'm going to add a transition in between these two pages. So let's go to the plus icon, add transition and I'm going to add a circle wipe direction out. Now I'm going to edit timing and I'm going to reduce the timing to 1.5 or 1.3 and then apply to all pages. And before we continue with the other sections of this animation, let's see how this animation starts to look together. Okay, I think the beginning of this animated collage is starting to look great. So now let's go and build page number three and page number four. To do this, I'm going to duplicate page number two to be able to start building the page number three. So select page number two, duplicate it, and now I'm going to add a video on page number four. So I'm going to upload, go to the videos section, and I'm going to insert the video that I want to use on page four. Usually when I'm working with these kind of videos, I like to mute them because we don't need the original audio of this video. The next step is to crop the length of your video and I'm going to crop mine to about two seconds. Okay, now I'm going to bring this guide to the beginning of my video and then I'm going to take a screenshot of the first frame of the video. Okay, so I'm taking a screenshot and now I'm uploading this screenshot back to Canva. Once your screenshot is uploaded to Canva, insert it into page number three. Then we are going to increase the size of this image until it covers the full page. And what I like to do is to crop some sections of the photo so it doesn't cover the whole screen. If not, Canva is going to take it automatically into the background of the page, which is not what we want. Now let's go to edit image and background remover. Now what I'm going to do is to separate this image into two different sections. So what I'm going to do is to delete this bird that I have on my hat and then I'm going to insert it back again into this page. Select done, apply and I'm going to do the same process again just to add the little bird. So let's bring this screenshot, I'm going to crop out this section of the photo, I just need the bird and then edit image and background remover. I'm doing this because I want to add more movement to this collage if I were to leave just the crop out section of my image as one element then I would just have one element coming into the page but by having the bird and then my body I'm gonna have two elements moving at the same time in this specific section of the animation. Now I'm going to restore some sections of this bird because we are missing something here. So let me work on these details and I'll be back in a second. Now I have the two sections of my photo ready and I'm going to add a tumble animation to each of them. Remember to select only on enter to the two sections of this photo. So tumble on enter. Okay, now let's see how this animation is looking. And now we just need to add a transition in between page three and four. 
so add the transition and this time I'm going to select the match and move transition. Let's see how this one looks. Now let's create page number five by splitting the video that we have on page four. So let's go around the mid section of this video. We can even increase the length to two seconds. And then let's go to the middle section of the video and split the page. On page number six, I'm going to add another video. So let's go to videos again. And this is the video that I want to add on this page. I'm going to follow the same process. I'm going to decrease the length of the video to about two seconds. And then I'm going to take a screenshot of the first frame of this video. So I'm going to position the guide at the beginning of this video, take a screenshot and then upload it back again to Canva. We're going to wait until the screenshot is fully uploaded to Canva and then we're going to insert it in page number five. I'm going to increase the size of this screenshot to cover the entire page and then I'm going to crop the image. So I only have the section that I need in this page. So I just need this man to appear on page number five, then go to edit image and background remover. Select apply and then add an animation to this crop out image. I'm going to add again a tumble animation only on enter. Then add a transition in between the last two pages this time I'm going to use again match and move. Now to create page number seven, I'm going to split the video that we have on page number six. So again, I'm going to position the guide more or less in the middle of this video, right click and split image. On page number eight, I'm going to add a photo. So this is the one that I'm going to add. I just bring it to the plus icon to create a new page. And now I'm going to page number seven and insert the photo that I inserted on page number eight. I'm going to increase the size so it covers the whole page and then crop the section that I don't need on top of the image. Going to edit image and work again with the background remover. As I already mentioned, in this case, I have two elements that I can separate. So I have more movement in this animation. So I'm going to separate my body and then the dragon that I have on the left hand side of the photo. So I'm going to crop this image like this, apply, and then I'm going to insert again the photo And this time I'm just going to use the section that we have on the left hand side, this dragon that we see here. Edit image, background remover. And in this case, because Canva is recognizing this element as part of the background, it disappeared. So let's go to restore, erase myself and then restore the dragon that we see on the left. And remember that this is a collage, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this one like this and then done and apply. Now let's add an animation to these two images. And this time I'm going to use pop only on enter. And then I'm also going to use a pop animation only on enter on the right image. And then let's add a transition in between these two pages. This time let's go for a circle wipe direction in. Now let's create page number nine. So let's select a photo and bring it to the plus icon. I'm going to reduce the length of these two images. So Let's make it around one second and then add a transition in between these two images. 
This time I'm going to use the chop animation. Okay, so we have this on the last pages. And now I'm going to create page number 10 by splitting page number 9. So I'm going to position my guide somewhere here and then right click split image. Now I'm going to add the last image on this animation and this is the one that I want to use. So I bring it to the plus icon and then I insert it again into page number 10 increase the size to cover the whole page and then crop the section that I want to see as a collage on this page. So I just want ourselves to appear in here. So edit image and background remover. Let's apply the effect. I'm going to add a pop animation. And then let's add a transition in between these two last pages. This time I'm going to use line wipe and I'm going to use the direction going upwards. Now let's reduce the timing on the last page to about one second or even less. And if you want, you can double check your animation before downloading. And if you want the animation to look faster, you can reduce some of the timings of the photos. So for example, I have on these two pages, just photos, no videos. Going to select this page and reduce the timing from 1.3 to one second. And I can do the same on page number two. And this is going to make my animation look faster. You can keep adjusting the timing of your photos until you find something that looks fine. So I think I'm going to reduce the page number two timing to 0 0.6 and see how this looks. I think this is looking fine. And then to download the animation, go to share, download MP4 video, select all pages and download. And this is the final result. If you're still watching, I think you're gonna love the 23 Canva tips and tricks that I share on this video. And I'm going to leave here the 45 day free trial of Canva Pro in case that you want to try it out. I hope that you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.